Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a uh, string program to accept a sentence and then count and display the number of double letter sequences available. So we will move on to the question. Accept a string, convert a string into uppercase letters. That means after getting the string, uh, you have a line called uh, uppercase, two uppercase uh, method available in string manipulation. So you have to use that. So it is specified in the question. So you have to convert. So it is not necessary that you have to input as capital letters. It can be either capital or lowercase, but you have to convert it into uppercase. Count and display the number of double letter sequences that exist in the string. So you have to count and also you are going to output the numbers. Now you can see a sample input. Uh, you can see a string where you can see that double letter sequences uh, letters are highlighted. So uh, after counting number of uh, double letter you can see 4 of them are there. So you are going to display it as 4. Okay. So according to the input your uh, sample output will change. Okay. Now to solve this. So you can notice here, uh, you have to take two two characters and then compare. So you, for example, if you take the first character, that is a uh, position at zero, that is the position value will be zero for the first letter with the position number one. So index zero and index one is been checked. Okay. If it is same, that way if the letters are same, then you have to count. If it is not same, you have to continue to the next iteration. So next time it will be one and two. Okay. It will be checked and then 2 and 3 so 3 and 4 it goes on like that so whenever uh, you find two characters are same then you have to count now uh, after counting after completing they will go to the last character last two characters say for example 24 and 25 just assume that it is 24 and 25 it will be compared okay uh, if you give in a loop that uh, i equal to 0, i lesser than len, it will take the last character, say for example 25 also will be taken and the uh, next character that is 26 will be checked. But you don't have 26 character here, so what happens here is you will get an error okay, showing that it is a string uh, array uh, uh, out of bound error. Okay, So what you can do is you can put uh, i lesser than len minus 1. So it will always stop with one character before that is 24 and 25 will be checked. Okay, after that it will stop. So we will move on to the program and see how it works. So I got a program here, public class, double letter is the class name. Okay, so you got a uh, package, uh, java.util package where you are going to import uh, scanner class in the program. And then under the public static void main you have got a line to input that is a create an object. Okay, SE is an object, scanner object, which is used to input the values. Then you got a string variable which will uh, store the string, whether it is a word or it is a sentence, it will be stored. And then you got two integer variables, first one is len, which will store the uh, length of the string, for, so that you can uh, execute the loop. Second uh, variable is count, so it will be initialized 0, okay, it will show you the number of double letter sequence will be stored. Then you have two characters, ch1 and ch2. The reason is you are going to take two two characters at a time and you are going to compare it. Okay, that's the reason you got two uh, character variables. Now the next statement is you are going to input the string. So you are going to uh, display a message. Then you are going to display, uh, you are going to uh, accept the uh, whole string. So you are going to use next line. Okay, which will take that uh, complete, that is, uh, uh, full line of text and it will be stored in str now uh, as the question suggests you have to convert into uppercase so i have used this line str equal to str dot to uppercase open and close parenthesis so here what happens is uh, str will be converted into uppercase and be stored in the same variable str itself okay it doesn't have any problem okay and next line you can see that it is used to find the length of the sentence say if you have uh, 25 characters length it will be stored in len now after completing that you are going to go for the loop so as i told you before you have to execute from i equal to 0 i lesser than len minus 1 i told you the reason for it okay normally you will use i uh, lesser than len here you are going to take two two characters i and i plus 1 so if it go till the last 
okay you should not take the last character you should take the previous character and the last character and check so that's the reason i given ln minus 1 i'll show you if you remove this uh, minus 1 what happens and then inside that you're going to extract two characters one is um, carrot i position of the uh, value of i that is uh, 0 okay that will be stored in ch1 and then ch2 will store the next character i plus 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so 0 and 1 will be compared right so ch1 and ch2 will have the characters in the position 0 and 1 that is compared here so if ch1 and ch2 is equal then count okay this is what you are going to do here okay so you are going to execute these till the end after that uh, you will have the final answer in count that you are going to display so system out printl and number of double letter sequence you are going to display the uh, value which is stored in count so you are going to compile this program Now execute the program. Now enter the uh, string. Three was feeding the, li the little uh, rabbit with an happen okay so since it will convert into uppercase it is not necessary to type it in uppercase you can type in uppercase or lowercase okay so it will automatically convert it uppercase and then uh, it will compare it now you can see number of double letter sequence is 4 okay uh, now i am going to remove that minus 1 and let's see what happens So I'm compiling it. No syntax errors. Now executing it. Okay. Now I'm typing. She uh, was feeding the little rabbit with an apple. Now, as I told you, you can see that uh, string index out of bound exception. So reason for it is it will compare two two characters. So if you put less than len, it will take the last character that will be i and the next character will be i plus 1. So you don't have another character after the last character. So it is showing that it is out of bound exception. Okay, so you have to put a minus 1 there. Okay, that's the reason put minus 1. Now you are compiling no syntax errors. Now I am uh, clearing it. Now executing it again. Now I am entering the value. She was... Uh, feeding the little rabbit. I am stopping here. We will see what is the value. So now you can see number of uh, double letter sequence is 3. Okay, you got only 3 double letter sequence. So if you understood this program, we will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.